Hello, my name is Jordan Apicelli and I'm an admissions counselor at the University of Wisconsin Superior. Thank you for taking the time to watch this quick 15 minute overview about our campus application process, transfer information, cost, and of course, if you have any questions, our contact information will be at the end. So thank you so much for taking your time to watch this and we hope to look, hope to work with you in the future. So let's get this started, right? Okay. The University of Wisconsin Superior is part of the UW system, but just like any college, we have what makes us different. First off, we are the smallest UW. 2,500 students, 13 to 1 student to faculty ratio, and an average class size of 18 is really what attracts our students to our campus. They want that four-year experience, but they want to be on a campus where they're not going to get lost. They want that one-on-one -on -one faculty attention. They want to be involved. We have over 130,000 people between the Duluth Superior area and the Duluth Superior community really invests in our campus and allows our students to get those opportunities outside of the classroom, which really leads to your success down the road. If you're outdoorsy, this is the perfect place for you. 60 plus miles of hiking trails. We have Lake Superior right outside our front door pretty much. You gotta walk a little bit, but it's close enough. But take it from me, I did go here. I am not outdoorsy. You will be okay. There's so much other things that you can be doing in the area. 48% of students are the first in their family to go to college. I was one of them. Thanks, mom. 82% of students receive some sort of financial aid as well. We are already pretty affordable for a four-year campus, but that financial aid aspect really is what sets us apart too. Our students are able to get what they need to get the career they want, but without breaking the bank. We have over 40 countries represented on our campus, and we're very proud of that because we are the second UW institution that has the highest international student population. So for a campus of our size, we're very proud of that. And then 95% of our graduates are currently employed or continuing their education in their field. And that really also just explains and shows, yes, our students are coming here, but they're also getting to where they need to be. And that goes into play with our liberal arts mission. So what is liberal arts? You might hear about it, you might have some assumptions, we really emphasize this with our students, even if they don't necessarily realize it. With us, you're not just getting a skill set of career choice. This career equals this skill set, so I can do that. You're also getting what employers like to call transferable skills that not only carry over into your career, but your personal life. And also, if and when you choose to change your career 10 years from now or 20 years from now. You're getting critical thinking skills, communication, global awareness, everything that you may not think you need now, but you might down the road. And that's one thing that we um, really are aware of with our students. We know we're a stepping stone. We're not the end all be all. We are here to get you to that next step and then that will get you to where you want to be next. We have over 50 programs on our campus. Our largest majors are within business, education, biology, and social work. We were created to create teachers over 126 years ago, elementary, secondary, early childhood, and special education. And some unique majors we have, aquatic biology, we're right on the lake, that makes sense. We have three national research centers on our campus that have to do with the environment. And we just got a grant to create a floating classroom on Lake Superior. And I don't know about you, but I want to take that class and that's, that's going to be awesome. <laughs> Art therapy and transportation logistics management, we are the only campus in the Midwest that has those programs. Art therapy, utilizing counseling, therapeutic techniques, and art for coping skills. Transportation and logistics, basically think of the whole, you order something on Amazon, how does it get to you in two days? That program is a three and a half year guaranteed graduation and pretty much 100% placement rate with 60K you're making right out the door. So if you have that type of brain, that is gonna be an awesome opportunity for you. And then legal studies, we also have a four-year criminal justice program. Maybe you're not thinking about relocating up to Superior, Wisconsin though. We do have online offerings as well that you can see here. So if that is something you're also interested in or you wanna decide which might be better for you, reach out to us. Our information will be at the end of this and we can help discuss your scenario, what's gonna be best for you. And that leads to the employability of our students. Again, 95% employed or continuing their education. Our students have gone on to work to, at Google, Disney. Some of them stay in the area and others go to California and train dolphins for the Navy. No, I'm not joking. <laughs> 
but really it's about us giving you what you need to be successful. We invest in our community and our community invests right back to ensure you're getting those experiences outside of the classroom. Also, our two advisor model has really assisted in this practice as well. You have a professional advisor, that's kind of your first go-to line of defense with your questions that you have, who do I go to for this? Am I taking enough credits? Am I gonna graduate on time? And then you have your faculty advisor within your program. And they're really gonna give you that mentorship within your area so that you can get more of a feel for what that program is like. What is the workforce within that area like? What are the different things I can do? And then they also connect you to our community, area, to our community businesses to get those internships and have those opportunities again outside of the classroom. So if you are looking to relocate up to us and you're not so familiar with the area, I always say it's good to get to know the area because yes, you're coming here for academics and for college, but you as a human are coming here too, right? So what do you need to personally be successful as well as academically? Superior is kind of is like your suburb. We're kind of small on the outskirts of Duluth, but you have access to all the big city stuff. We also have a lot more locally owned businesses. So you might see some businesses on this list that you're not very familiar with, but I'm sure you would know what we're talking about when I say pizza. <laughs> so if you ever need any insight into where to go to eat, I promise you I'm the person to go to. If you're looking for the outdoor activities, yes, we absolutely have that. This picture is from our Superior Adventures group. They've actually gone kayaking to the Sea Caves, Apostle Islands. It's pretty much a yearly trip. And you don't have to have any experience or knowledge. You can just sign up and they will take you with all of the equipment. So even if this isn't something you've thought of before, it might be something you're thinking of now. But again, there is so much more to, to do in the Duluth Superior area, so I promise you, if you're not outdoorsy, you will find something. I like to talk a little bit about residence life because of two reasons. One, we are mandated to have our students live on campus their first two years or until they turn 20 years of age or older by the first day of classes for fall or if you're junior status. Those are the exemptions. So you might fall within that or you might not, or you might just say, hey, I wanna live on campus for a semester while I find off-campus housing. So that's the second reason. We have five different residence halls. They, we also have an upperclassmen only hall and a 21 plus floor. So depending on your situation, we can discuss this one-on-one. -on -one. Also, of course, again, you as a human are coming here, so there might be things that you want to continue in being involved in from your current institution or something you want to try that's new. On our campus, as you can see, all of our fine and performing art ensembles listed here. One thing that is different with us, though, is that you do not have to major or minor in music or theater or art to take any of those classes or participate in the ensembles. You might be an education major and be in the choir, computer scientist and starring in the fall production. So if this is something you want to be a part of, absolutely please do that. And athletics. We are NCAA Division III. We play in the Upper Midwest Athletic Conference. All of our sports, except our hockey teams, they still play in the Wisconsin Intercollegiate Athletic Conference. Our coaches like to say that our students get a Division I experience at the D3 level. And really what we mean by that is focusing on being successful on the rink, on the court, on the field, on the track, but also successful in the classroom. Our athletes are the ones that actually boost our GPA. Also, our, ath our athletic teams have a contract with Under Armour and they like to go, they like to get our students to go on trips. So they've traveled and competed in New York, Las Vegas, and Florida. So if that's something you're interested in, because of our small campus size, our community, our coaches are really invested in this process. If you're at all interested, we highly suggest you go to our UWS Yellow Jacket Athletics website and there's a prospect form you can fill out. You can also see all of our coaches listed there and their contact information. We highly recommend that you reach out to them. If you want to compete still, but maybe you don't want to practice all the time and travel, we also have lots of ways to be involved in your health on campus weight rooms, pool, uh, yoga classes, Zumba, and a rock wall on campus, as well as intramural activities. So there's absolutely something for every level if that's what you're looking to do. So that was the quick overview about UW-Superior. Now let's talk the details about credit transferring. 
you've put in the time in this in your current institution with the classes you've taken you're trying to save money whatever your reasons were you want to make sure that your efforts don't go to waste so on our campus we are considered transfer friendly with over half of our students about half of our students are transfer students from minnesota and wisconsin we are on transferology so you can go on transferology right now even before you apply and see how your credits will transfer directly to us the easiest way I can explain this because is course equivalent versus elective versus no credit uh, to really visualize it is the question is, you know, will my credits transfer? Yes or no? Most of the time it's going to be yes, but then it branches off from there even. So yes, it transfers in and then either as the direct course equivalent. So you take intro to psychology and it transfers to us as intro to psychology. So that would be a direct course equivalent transferring in. It could also be, yes, it transfers in, but as an elective. So what that means is it transfers into us because we have that core area, but we don't have that exact course. And the easiest way to explain that is you took psychology of dogs. Yes, we have psychology, but we don't have psychology of dogs. So you still get credit for it, just not that equivalent credit. All of this still counts towards your degree progress, still counts towards graduation, so no worries there. The only way a course would not transfer in is one of two ways. One, the institution you took it from is not accredited, or two, we don't have the core equivalent area. Uh, for example, this would be maybe you took an intro to welding course from a local technical college. We don't have welding that we could transfer it into, so that would not transfer in towards credits. Now, either way though, it does not matter if the courses you've taken at colleges transfer into us, go towards your major, we always need those transcripts from every college you have ever taken even one class from. This could even include classes you took in high school for college credit. This is pretty standard for any college you look at, so just make sure that you're aware of that. And of course, if you don't have access to transferology, your academic advisor on your current campus, as well as myself and the other members of our transfer team are here to help you. You just, just reach out to us. We can walk you through transferology. We can walk you through our transfer guides, whatever we can do to help you. That is what we're here for, to ensure that the time and effort you've put into your current coursework is not gone to waste. So costs. For on-campus students, tuition and fees for Wisconsin residents for one year is $8,132. Minnesota residents, $9,131. And then non-residents, you're looking at $15,705. But if you are a non-resident of Minnesota or Wisconsin, that is a conversation that we'll have to go deeper into the details of our non-resident tuition waiver. Then if you choose to live on campus, this number will vary depending on if you live on campus for a year, a semester, if you have a meal plan or not. So again, depending on your situation, we can discuss that. If you're looking to take online courses, that is by credit. So one credit for an online class is $305. So if you were to be an average student and take 15 credits for a semester for a year, you're looking at $9,150 for a year tuition and fees. Then whether you're on campus or off campus, we always look for about $1,000. But again, that also will vary depending on the semester and depending on the year. Then the application process. Very similar to what you've probably experienced. You apply online, pay the application fee or fee waiver form, submit that and submit all of your college transcripts. Again, any college you have taken even one course from, we will need those academic documents for our official review since we do award bachelor's degrees. Then these last two bullets here, that is something that we can discuss one-on-one -on -one, depending on your situation because it just varies. Again, because we are a four-year institution that grants bachelor's degrees, we do have some different requirements than two-year colleges. Biggest tip here, <clears throat> excuse me, is to just make sure that you apply as soon as you know where you wanna go and when. That just ensures that we can get your transfer credit report done as soon as possible and get you into the appropriate courses as soon as possible as well. 
So with that, that is our basic overview and information. We are here to help you with any questions you have. This is our transfer team. So I, like I said in the beginning, I'm Jordan Apicelli. I work with community college transfer students in Southern Minnesota and some of our online programs. You can see my contact information here, call or text me and email. I'm also on You Can Book Me, UW Superior, Jordan A, if you wanna set up a virtual meeting like this. Then our other two staff members, we have Shane Diedrich, he works with students in Northern Minnesota, and then Brittany Kemi works with our Wisconsin transfer students and also online students. So save this information, take a screenshot, whatever your preference is, and again, whatever we can do to help you find the right fit for you, get your questions answered about UW-Superior, that is what we are here for, and we look forward to working with you in the future. Have a great day.